director of Double Date. So, directing for a film like this, are you nervous, scared, worried about anything? Uh, what, going into it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit of anticipation, but to be honest, I was quite well protected in the... I've been working with Danny for so long. Uh, and actually, the thing that I tried to protect so much about this movie was that me and Danny originally started just making little tiny shorts together in a room together, just me filming, doing everything. Yeah. And I made sure and spoke to all the crew that that was the feeling of that was the thing that I wanted to hold on to the most yeah. going into the movie. And I didn't want having a big crew that would mean the atmosphere of mucking around with my mate would be lost. So actually, in a way, everyone supported that and, and we kept hold of that. So in a way, it was actually just really good fun. That's awesome. Are you happy with the outcome? I am. I mean, I think probably every first time director is going to turn around and go, it's amazing. But, but just because of test screens, test screening it, showing it at festivals, showing it abroad as well, where you think maybe the language might be lost a bit. It's just been, every joke has landed the same. The ending, everyone seems to have had the same emotion by the end. Loads of laughter. So that's just incredibly encouraging. If you're sat there and comedy is one of the only, I guess horror as well, the only thing where you either jump or laugh, you can just read the audience, you're like, okay, we're winning. So. Uh, yes, hi, I'm Danny Morgan, writer and actor from Double Date. And I understand that you play the lead character in this, right? I do, yes. And he is a virgin. He is. So I like to say, really. Uh, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm sad I have to point that out. But I do, yeah, people have asked me that. It's based, it's sort of loosely based on me in my 20s, where I wasn't a virgin, but at times it felt like I was. Right. There was long, dry spells. Let's just put it like that. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. <laughs> um, so Jim is basically terrified of talking to women. Sorry. And Jim is terrified of talking to women. And I, that was a fear and anxiety I had for a long time. And so I thought I'd try and explore that in a film. Um, yeah, exactly. And so the one night that Jim does manage to conquer his fear is the one night that he should be afraid. Yeah, I mean, I'd never written anything before. Like, this was my first uh, feature script, and I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I think, in a way, that took a bit of the fear away. I was just, uh, ideas, ideas, throwing stuff down on the screen uh, and not thinking anything would come of it and not having any expectations. So it was quite freeing, in a way. Um, and then it was only when I met Matt Wilkinson, our producer, who helped me kind of shape it into a film, that then it started to get a bit like, okay, now it's, we've got to work and really hone this and get it to a good point, um, which I think we did. But um, yeah, because it was my first one, I wasn't really, wasn't really scared, but it was a long, long process. Do you think it came out well? Are you happy with the results? I'm so happy with it. I'm so, so proud. And that is the main thing, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, I'm just like so chuffed at how it, like, it's come out a hundred times better than I thought it could. Yep. The response we're getting is amazing and like the audiences are really reacting well. And... Hello, my name's Kelly Wenham. And uh, you play one of the sisters in the film, right? I do, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, about Kitty. Kitty is the main villain of the film. She's very, well, she's a, a psychopath. She's um, a serial killer. She's very aggressive, um, quite deranged. Yeah, you don't come across as any of those. So what would you do to prepare for such a role like this? <laughs> um, what did I do? I, I did a lot of um, training actually, okay. in, in physically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to and trained at a Muay Thai gym okay. in um, East London. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. <laughs> and I also trained uh, with a great trainer called Ben Paul, who really um, taught me how to weight train and got my body looking <laughs> as ripped as possible. Yeah. Um, is it a very physical role, or is it just mainly for the, the how you felt in yourself? for this? Um, no, it was extremely physical, yeah. Um, it was, I, I was knackered a lot of the time. It was long, long evening, well, we were shooting nights a lot of the time, yeah. and then I would try and go to the gym in the day, and I had uh, weights as well right. in the green room, so in between takes I'd try and do as many as I could, because I really wanted to try and keep the muscle tone. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, it was tough, but it was really rewarding at, at the same time. Would you do it again? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I would. <laughs> I would. Not as much dry chicken. I think I'd try and branch out and yeah. maybe find some other foods to eat. Um, so, what does it mean to you to have your film here at Firehouse this week? It's exciting because there's not. I think horrors or you know is a genre where people do still go to the cinema to watch it. Yeah. It's kind of a lot of things now you can just watch it on TV and it will have the same effect. Whereas horror, so I think about being around loads of other people and getting that kind of vibe in the air that's really exciting. So I think it's nice to have a festival that really supports that as a genre. And it's also it's often a genre that's kind of not laughed at, but not everyone likes it, not everyone will take it seriously. So it's nice to have that support, I think, for those films. Would you uh, consider yourself a horror fan? Yeah, I am. I'm going through a real stage at the moment. Um, a lot of the Saw films, yeah. shamefully. They are. rewatched all of those. I love them. I really do. Very cleverly done. I yeah. Think. Yeah.